So the last game, the last Premier League game anyway, Ian, I think um, that makes a difference though, doesn't it, in a way? I'm, I've, I've been playing all the scenarios out about, you know, like, if we win but we don't win, as in we don't win the league and all that kind of stuff. And I remember that Newcastle game and, you know, Brighton taking the lead against City and us getting a little bit excited for six minutes or whatever it was. Uh, so we've got all this to come again on Sunday, but I think what, whatever happens, knowing Paris is on the... You know, in the future, and we've got a Champions League final. That'll dampen any disappointment, won't it? it should do anyway. A hundred percent. The week after is just absolutely massive. And don't forget, there's two trophies that have been won already as well. So that takes the, the heat off a little bit. You can't compare them to the size of winning a, a league title or the European Cup, obviously. But it doesn't half feel a lot better that you've got those two in the bag. You've got this big game at the weekend, and it probably is done. But I keep coming back to the thing, Robbo, of football every now and again just can put you on the nose. It can throw a surprise in. It can completely shock you. And whilst it does feel like there's a an inevitability, City will go and get the job done, something mad could happen. Something crazy could happen. Yeah. A man could get sent off in the first 10 or 15 and the game could change. And I think if there's a scenario where Villa can just keep it tight, and that's a big if, but if they can, if they can get to half-time and it's level, then maybe, just maybe, we'll see what happens. It's game 62, Johnny, of the of the season. Um, they've done amazing to go this far and still be in contention for everything. No, no other team's ever gone this far and been able to win everything. Like, we should be proud of them, whatever happens here on in, shouldn't we? That's exactly where I am. I, I, I know miracles can happen, and Ian's right, miracles can happen, but I think Villa are on the quiet a bit shit, and I just don't, I just don't see them being able to muster it. And uh, we, we, it would be a series of unfortunate events that led to us to anything other than the obvious happening. But, but I'm, I'm ex- exactly where I am. I, I've just been away with, with work actually, and I was in the. You know, suddenly when you find yourself in the company of fans of other teams from across the country, there was a City fan there very very nervous and he was saying mm. aren't you nervous aren't you ner- I've not slept properly for weeks I went well what have I got to be nervous about he said we've, we've just won two trophies my expectation is we're probably going to finish one point behind you in the league and then we've got Paris next week to look forward to I said even in the worst possible of the remaining outcomes it's, we've had a boss season we've had an absolutely yeah. brilliant season what well, I'm dead proud of I've seen a few people in WhatsApp groups sort of deciding what they're going to do on Sunday night after the match based on whether we win the league or not I might go to boss night lad it might be a bit of a damn squib we've just fucking had one of the best oh, seasons on, we've exactly. ever fucking had yeah, exactly if you're not going out for a pint on Sunday night you're a fridge you're a fucking massive double decker fridge <laughs> honestly go what a football team we've got this, and this is the best incarnation of a football team. None of us are getting any fucking younger apart from Fuad. We've got to celebrate these lads. And you that, just had me off before, you know, six <laughs> musics playing music from 1997 all day <laughs> to celebrate OK Computer by Radiohead. And he was like, I wasn't born then. And I was like, fuck it. Yeah. The worst bit is you didn't know their maths anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think because I've got older kids, I would have been able to anticipate that. To what he was <laughs> but like, yeah, honestly, what a football team. And like, well, as I say, I was surprised how nervous the City fan was. And, and hopefully. But well, a draw's not good enough for them. They've got to win. Well, yeah. I hope. He, Assuming we win. I hope he's representative of them because let's say we get to an hour and it's nil nil. And they, that nervousness starts to transmit itself into their fan base. That kind of stuff can, can catch fire, can't it, quite quickly. But I've got no realistic hope that we're going to win the league tomorrow. But I will settle for what we've got now with the. With the chances we've got, a little bit cut of the, the the quintuple died last night, unfortunately, and so <laughs> that, 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 that that's been that's been a tough one, tough one to swallow. But like a, anyone, anyone who's sort of grumbling, and it, there's a tendency, isn't it, to sort of go, ah, if we've done better against Spurs, or if we've done, yeah, and yeah, look at all these that. games, we're going to have look probably forward, ninety plus t- points. You take 92. that every day. Yeah. You take that every day. Every day. If you can start every season knowing you're at 90 points, you're going to win the league. Something like nine out of ten seasons, aren't you? Well, the City seven. only got 86 last season. Um, I mean, the if we, if we finish with 92 points, I, I keep I keep labouring this point, but it is for a reason. It will be the third highest total ever in the history of Liverpool Football Club, and and, and two of those totals haven't been enough to win the league. Like the the bar is unbelievable. Yeah. 
All right, the Reds, thanks for watching a little bit of a premium Anfield Wrap video there. If you want to watch the rest of that show and get access to much, much more, click join below. That activates our YouTube membership. It means you get a premium video every day of the week. You get our post-match content. You get reviews, previews, and exclusive interviews all here from the heart of Liverpool. Follow us, follow them. Up the Reds.